Storytelling is an inextricable component to design. There is no design without a story. My name is Malcolm Berg. I'm the president and design director of EOA Group. We are the designers of the Ben Autograph Collection Hotel in West Palm Beach. I knew that I had a designer bone in me when I was very, very young. At six years old, I used to draw sections of submarines, but rather than show torpedoes, I was showing where the sailors would sleep, a lot of integral parts that had to work with each other to make it function. There is a direct leap that you can take between me being in the air and the work that we do. One of the reasons I love helicopters is I can take helicopters where people can't go, where vehicles can't go, where airplanes can't go. I literally stare at the clouds out the window and things happen. That moment of quietude is extremely important to create things that maybe nobody else has done, going to places that nobody else goes. So if you start to think about that from a different perspective in design, that's what we wanted to bring forward. Whenever we start a project, we don't start a project by designing. For us to design something, we need a story. This hotel has a very specific story, and the story is that of the Ben Travato. The bed and breakfast that resided in this location we didn't know what Ben Travato was. We thought the Ben Travato was probably a name. As we looked further into it, we realized that it was part of a longer statement in Italian. Se non è vero, è un Ben Travato. Which means it might not be true, but it's a story well told. That was a beautiful moment for us because it allowed us to go beyond the historical side. Can you tell me about Bird and what she was about? She was a writer in the late 1800s that moved down to Florida with her husband, mm -hmm. and they ran this property from the ground up. Essentially, they're pioneers in the state, and it was such a dangerous time to be in South Florida. The wildlife, the weather. South Florida is always large and yeah. huge leaves. That environment really became part of their household. They must have felt just completely out of their element. The more we narrated that story to ourselves, the more we understood what we had to do. The property had to replicate the experience. To us, authenticity is anything that carries meaning from inception to completion. I think it makes it really interesting to sort of apply a character and it would create a lot of great touch points that the guests can discover. Ben, to us, is a character that would have resided at the bed and breakfast. All of that evoked a tremendous amount of imaginative vision. You talked about Bird and Bruno. Yeah, she was very well known for her writings, and one of her books that's really famous is called Bruno. And it was her dog. It was her dog, yeah, that's the dog that they own. It would be great to immortalize Bruno, to bring it right in. As Ben comes out of the marshes with his big leather boots and covered in mud, arriving at this bed of breakfast, you see Bruno the dog sort of jumping around in the mud behind him. It shouldn't be your typical reception desk. It doesn't feel like you're in a hotel. It feels more like you're in someone's home. I like the layered look of the art being entirely odd. Everything we do, from the art to uniforms, tableware, glassware, it all has to absolutely tie to the story. Ben is the ever-present feature at the hotel. He is the kind of guy you want to sit next to because he's going to tell you extraordinary stories. That is what the Ben is about. It's about the oral tradition and how those stories kind of carry on over distances and generations simply by being told. <laughs> 